Okay, here we are back. Um, now we're at the inverter, which is uh, the terminal place where the DC power um, comes in and gets converted to AC power. Of course, this is a grid tied array, which means that uh, under net metering with PG&E, I'm able to uh, basically power my house with whatever power the, uh, the unit makes. And if there's any extra power, then it uh, spins my meter backwards and goes out into the grid. Uh, of course, there are no batteries with this system. Uh, so that means that, you know, if the grid was to go down, uh, this goes down too. Uh, but I have something for that that will get to uh, down the road a little bit. Okay. Uh, the knob at the bottom, that is the DC disconnect. Uh, just a flick of that knob, and I can shut the PV off to the inverter um, in order to uh, service it and what have you. Um, here's my conduit runs that go up and around and up to the array there. And this is three-quarter liquid flex uh, conduit, and it made for a pretty easy install. Uh, so at the, bo the bottom two, well, no, these two right here are where the strings come in. Um, this one being string one and this one being string two this other one is ac out that then goes into this room here into a sub panel box uh, where it is then distributed throughout the uh, the wiring system of the house uh, we have cooling fans here uh, for when uh, the inverter is operating and the air temperatures are, are, are uh, warm enough and I believe actually right now it is oh, see it just it just stopped um, one thing I want to point out to you guys and I, I don't know if you guys can see this or not but I mean it is really hazy today I mean really hazy didn't start this way this morning and in fact I can see ever so faintly oh there's one um, how many of you out there know what that is? I know what it is. In fact, that is why it is so hazy today. And so it's really downgrading my, uh, my, my PV performance, among other things. I mean, it's so hazy, I can hardly see the mountains. Now, just before I started shooting, this thing was putting out uh, almost 2,900 watts. And now we're down to 2180 uh, because of the shading factors from the chemtrails. What a deal. Um, so right now we've done nine and 9.35 kilowatt hours today. And that's just today. Um, let's see what's our total going to be. 2114 right now currently okay we've done 6098 kilowatt hours uh, to date since this inverter has gone on online so that's about 18 months worth uh, two winters and uh, this will be the second summer um, and it's only been a year since the second string um, was put on I've seen this thing go as high as 4,000 watts which is right at the maximum that this inverter will do, um, you know, uh, when it really is a clear day, when it really is uh, cooler with the sun right on the top of it, um, I've seen it do that, and, and I think uh, that had a little bit to do with some edge of cloud effect that was going on. We had some thunderstorm activity when I uh, measured those readings. Okay, let's talk about why I think this is derating. Um, well, a couple reasons. Number one, um, the panels really aren't at the uh, proper tilt that they should be. Right now, they're about 15 degrees, and ideally, they should have been around 35 to 40. Um, so, it, well, not a real big deal, but it adds up. Uh, number two, the voltage discrepancies. And um, here I did a few calculations. I don't know if they're correct. Uh, maybe somebody out there um, 
that's more familiar with the math end of this thing can tell me. But I've come up with a 0.83 uh, voltage discrepancy for a, for a multiplier. Um, the average voltage, if you just took the average of the two, 357 volts, my observed voltage normally, about 295 volts. Right now, the voltage is around 305, and that's only because it's not putting out a bunch of wattage because the light's gone down a little bit. So when you start derating for volts, I come down to, th starting with the original 5172 STC, I get down to 4292 after that 0.83 multiplier for volts, 10% multiplier for heat deration, 3863, and then when you figure in the inverter efficiency, which it's 96.8% efficient, I come up with 3747 uh, watts. And that's actually probably pretty close. I mean, like I said, this thing was right at almost 3,000 watts uh, when I walked up to it. Um, and I've seen it much higher than that. So, I don't know. Uh, the math seems to work out as an explanation for why I'm derating. So just because someone tells you, oh, I got a 4,000 watt PV array, does not mean that they are actually making 4,000 watts. Oh, and I didn't even consider the shading factors. I have a massive eucalyptus tree. You can see it right there over the roof line. And uh, that thing probably cuts about two hours uh, out of the performance of this system a day. And it's even worse in the winter time. Um, I've been wrestling around with myself whether or not I'm gonna take that tree out, but you know what? It really is a beautiful tree and I really would rather not. I mean, I mean, that's one of the most beautiful eucalyptus trees I have ever seen in my life. So, I mean, and it's happy uh, and it likes being here. So, uh, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know about that right now. So, you know, those of you guys saying, hey, Steve, your values are pretty sucky, man. Oh, now we're climbing back up. We're climbing back up a little bit because the chemtrails are starting to blow over just a little bit. And we're at 2,500 and some odd watts now. But, um, well, when you consider all this stuff, guys, the shading factors, when you consider heat duration, when you consider the line voltage discrepancies and all of that stuff, um, yeah, it figures. No, my values aren't what they should be. They should be higher. Um, but I understand why. And, um, you know, that being said, even with all the inefficiencies, um, I'm still doing about a good 50% of the demand that I use off of the grid. So, um, see, here we are climbing back up. I mean, these aren't clouds, guys. They're chemtrails. There's a big difference. If you don't believe me, go on YouTube, type in chemtrails, and let your jaw drop on the ground, okay? And it's just, you know, before you want to start, you know, flaming me or something about it, just why don't you go ahead and do that? Do yourself a favor and, and educate yourself. So, this is Solar Steve with the Balances System video on the Grid Tie Array. And uh, coming soon is going to be my uh, documentary on my off-grid system. Uh, thanks for all your views, guys, your, your ratings, your comments, your subscriptions. Uh, to date, the Outback Off-Grid intro is by uh, far and away the biggest video uh, on YouTube that I have. Uh, it's been viewed the most times by the most uh, amounts of people. So I know that's where the interest lies, but I really wanted to wrap up stuff first before I moved on. So anyway, there you have it. Solar Steve from Solar Nation. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later.